Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the very first, that's right, very first, Ask the Mandroid. A lot of times uh, you guys ask me questions about things, mainly Android related and stuff, so, you know, instead of trying to fit it all in one show, I was like, well, let me do a separate stuff for, you know, certain things, you know, let me keep the Mandroid show with just Android news. So here's when I'm going to answer questions that you guys have. Let it be about Android or personal. So since this is going to be kind of personal, let's uh, let's set the mood a little bit, you know. So let's uh, cue, cue some nice romantic music. Let, yeah, It's good stuff. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. You feeling it? You feeling the vibe? I know I am. Uh, let's crack open one of these. Cheers. Let's get on with the questions. Uh, first question comes from YouTube user TotalMax13. This, uh, this was a couple weeks ago in the show. He asked, what phone do I use? Well, if you notice in the background of my shows, I have of course, the girly girls, the hotties, the girls that just make me, you know, excited. And of course, I have the picture of the one device that makes me excited, the HTC One S. Just in case you missed it, this is what happened when I got it. question comes from Moses Garcia, another YouTube user, and he asks, is that Sarah Underwood on the left? Oh, you're, you're, you're left, not mine. Yeah, stupid. Kind of dark back there, but yes, that is Sarah Underwood on the left. I love, oh. When it came to all the hot nerdy girls, that was actually my top choice. I know it was down to Sassy Bob and Amanda McKay, but yeah, Sarah Underwood just, she just does it for me. She's adorable and she's hot. I mean, look at that Tootie. My god. Bounce quarters off that thing. That's a visual that's in my head at an hourly basis. Alright, next question comes from Sassy. Oh, wait. It's not a question at all. Aww. <laughs> she loves me. Alright, this next question is from a Twitter follow named Prasoon Singh. I'm probably not saying that right, dude. I apologize. I'm really bad with names if you guys know this. But anyways, he has his own YouTube channel and he does like tech reviews and stuff like that. And he had not one, but two questions. And the first question was, what was my first Android phone? Well, of course, being the huge Android fan that I am, I was there from the very beginning. I had the HTC G1 T-Mobile. <laughs> I had a Blackberry Pearl, as gay as that sounds. I had a Blackberry Pearl before I had the G1. It was, yeah, I got it for like free. Somebody hooked it up at the mall. This uh, girl was one of those like little island things. She hooked it up. So I had the Blackberry Pearl. Yes, I know. It's like the, you know, girliest Blackberry phone you can ever have. Shut up. I had that phone for a while and I called up T-Mobile and I was like, well, uh, what am I due for an upgrade? And the guy on the phone, he said, well, you're not due for another few months, but since you've been such a loyal T-Mobile customer, we're willing to give you a loyalty upgrade, I guess you could say. Like, they, they, they think I'm awesome. That's pretty much it, they think I'm awesome. And I remember seeing the commercials for the G1. It was, what really grabbed me too about the G1 was the app, the barcode app. It was the fact that you can like scan a barcode and check like prices at different places. I thought that was freaking awesome. I was on the phone, I was like, well, how much can I get the G1 for? He told me and boom, there you go. I know a funny story about that too is, um, like a day or two before it showed up in the mail, um, I was working. I used to do uh, cable. I was a cable guy. Cable <laughs> guy. I was in this. Um, I was in downtown Redlands, and uh, in this alleyway, me and a coworker we were trying to figure out something to get cable at this office or whatever, or whatnot. Anyways, the alleyways. If you go to downtown Redlands, people that live in SoCal, some of it, like the alleyways, like in the little old, the old buildings, they look like movie sets. So being the movie buff I am and the filmmaker, and blah, blah blah blah, I was thinking, wow, I, I could just see myself running down this alleyway with a car like behind me and I'm like running and then I'm gonna leap on this trash this dumpster so I did I had literally mimicked it out I leaped on the top of it it was closed I didn't leap into it I'm not that disgusting my man my phone was right in my little sleep pocket and it's just right into a puddle yeah it was like right after we had like a rainstorm yeah it was done it's it kept it well, was funny though it worked for a little bit and then it just died but luckily I had the, the G1 on its way and that's where it all began like I had that and then all of a sudden I was I was getting bored with it and um, started seeing these videos of people 
rooting? What is rooting? And after that, I was hooked. I was on Android for life. There was no other phones I was gonna get, and I <laughs> rooted the G1 into the ground. I still have it, but it doesn't turn on. The screen just burned out because, yeah, I mean, I overclocked and rooted the crap out of that. Pretty much raped it with my rooting, and it was pretty awesome. As for a second question, would I ever get an iOS device? Well then, I don't know if that's what he was actually talking about, but yes, I do have a Mac computer. Hold on, don't get upset with me yet. I've already explained it before, and I'm not gonna explain it again, but I think he's talking about like an iPod, an iPad, and possibly an iPhone. Hell no, I will never get one of those devices. I find the iOS device is very boring, very plain, you can't customize them, and it's just, uh, no, I will never. The only thing I like about it is, yes, it's pretty fluid and fast. I'll give that to Apple, but no, I will never get an iPod, an iPad, or an iPhone. I will never get that, but yeah. I got, yeah, I got the computer, but don't worry, I covered the Apple logo. I'm good. Well, all right, guys, that concludes the first Ask the Mandrake Q&A video. Um, I don't know how often I'm gonna have these videos. I was thinking maybe every two weeks, maybe once a month, depending on how many questions you guys ask me. So if you have a question, you can hit me up. I have all my links to the G+, Twitter, Facebook, all that down there. If you have a question to ask me, if I start getting a lot of questions, then yeah, I'll do this every two weeks. If it gets to be a bunch of questions, then I'll do it once a week. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. I love your faces because, you know, without you, I wouldn't be doing this. And I appreciate all the nice comments I, I get for every show. This is actually not my first beer, so I'm feeling kind of antsy. Maybe I'll have an after hour show. How about, okay, that's just wrong. All right, turn the camera off. I, again, making an ass out of myself. <laughs> Hold my lip. <laughs>